hello everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome as you can see i did receive a pr package from melody Susie. they did send over some gel polish for me to try out for you guys i'm gonna go ahead and open these up and swatch them for you So I'm going to jump into nail prep. I haven't done any cuticle work on my nails in a really long time, so I think I'm going to do that today. I'm only going to push back my cuticles and trim them down. I also want to say that I'm sorry that I've been gone for a while. Your girl needed a break. I really do feel guilty when I do go on breaks or when I don't post enough. I just feel like I'm letting you guys down. Um, and slight mini rant. Some of you might already know this, but I did graduate from nail school a couple months ago and this past week I have been busy trying to do some nail sets as well as trying to market for more clientele as I am taking clients now and I really do commend nail techs who have flowing clientele all the time because the business side of nails is not easy but personally i think i want to pace myself and be more on the content creator side of nails because i feel like i thrive more and i can pace myself and i feel like i have a lot more freedom i just truly hate being rushed when i do nails and i feel like so many people do not understand that really good nails take time and honestly it's really frustrating but yeah i kind of just came to the conclusion that i'm just going to take clients on the side when i feel like it and if i become busy or victim out, it just happens. I just want to be moderately booked and still have time for content because YouTube is my happy place and I just feel like social media is more rewarding. Okay, so now I'm going in with Melody Susie Mandrel bit and I'm going over my nail plate and a little bit over my cuticle just to clean that up a little bit. Now I am creating a pale face coat using cuticle oil and top coat. This is just easier for me since I am a content creator and I can just pop these off.
Now I am adhering my nail tips with base coat and a gel X lamp. This is just easier than using nail glue because nail glue will not adhere to a smooth surface. After I had finished blending the tip with the nail, I am going to apply base coat on the entire nail and cure this in the lamp for 30 seconds. Here is the poly gel that we will be using in today's nail set. This is from Model 1's 004, and I will also be using alcohol as my slip solution. Now I am jumping into application. If you are new, you won't see much of my thumbnail application. It's usually pretty rushed because I usually reserve this for TikTok, but I do try to show as much footage of it as I can into my YouTube videos. So I did get a subscriber wanting more on the Apex, so I thought I would show that in this video. So the first half, I am going to have this sped up. I'm just doing the first portion of the nail. I do like to work in two beads or more, and I will just have the foundation done. So I'm going to speed that up for here. So I did cure that first bead in the lamp for 60 seconds and now I'm applying a cuticle bead and I'm going to have this in real time. What I do here is I will press the bead into my cuticle. I won't make, I'll make sure it's not touching the skin and I'll be slightly pressing that. And from, I really do not like a big apex or thick apex. I don't really like thick nails. So once I have it in a place where I like it, I'll make sure I spread out the, the poly gel and making sure that it's covering my cuticle. And I'm also making sure that the side walls are not blooded out. And at the bottom half of the bead, I will just drag that down slightly and you can drag it down as much as you want. Um, I'll just try to make sure there's at least a little bit of an apex or a little bit of a hump and I'll just drag it upwards if there isn't much of a hump there but yeah that's how I do my apex again I don't like thick nails and I don't like too high of an apex so that is how I do it I truly hope I explained that well and I hope that worked well for you you guys let me know in the comments I'll also show you how I do it again in real time on the next nail.
Here's how my application is looking. I am gonna go ahead and wipe away the sticky layer from the polygel just so that we can begin filing.
We are now ready to begin gel art. I will be taking this white gel polish from Melody Susie and I'll be doing a French on my thumb. This will be the seashell nail. I am going to apply one layer of the white gel polish and cure this in the lamp for 30 seconds. I'm now applying a second layer of white gel polish and this is not going to be cured. This is going to be for the seashell nail art. To make the grooves of the seashell, I am going to be taking this brown gel polish color and I'm honestly just swiping back and forth on the gel. I'm really using the white and the brown to kind of make that effect. That's the best way for me to explain it. Once I was finished with my thumb, I did cure that in a lamp for 30 seconds and now I'm going to be applying top coat on this entire nail and curing this in the lamp for 60 seconds. Now I'm going to be taking this iridescent mirror powder and I'm going to apply that on only the French tip portion of this nail and I'm rubbing that in with an applicator brush and after I will take a makeup sponge to remove the excess chrome. For the 3D art, I will be using rhinestone glue and using my medium liner brush. After curing that finger in the lamp for 30 seconds, I'm moving on to my pointer finger and this is just going to be a regular French. I'm using this cream like color gel polish for the French tip.
so this next finger we're not gonna talk about it but i tried to do an ombre with just gel i ran out of acetone so i couldn't do like a aura type of ombre airbrush thing um so yeah i tried to make an attempt of an ombre here so i'm just kind of doing a random design just to cover that blend right there because it's a bit harsh For this next nail, I'm painting it completely white. I will be applying two layers and curing that 30 seconds each. I'm applying top coat on the entire nail and curing this for 60 seconds and I'm going to be taking that same chrome that we used on the middle and thumb finger and just rub that in. So here are how my nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I really love these. I love how seashell and summery they look. I have everything that I used linked in the description box. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you all in my next video.